Well, for any of the guys out there that want a great cut and a shave, well, Classics Barbershop is one of the great places that you can head out to. So Ansley Watson is there this morning, and she is uh, telling us more about what they offer. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. It is always so nice to have a barber in town to give you that top-notch haircut and shave. You know, I look around here at Classics, and it just looks like a very traditional barber shop. There's a lot of history here. In fact, it kind of reminds me off of, of uh, Floyd's Barbershop off of the Andy Griffith show, so that's pretty neat. But stick with us because we're going to be talking all about what Kevin does here. And then we also might be giving Donnie a fresh new look. So reporting live Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Interesting. All right. Thank you very much, Ansley. As we're getting ready for that, I'm impressed she knew about you know, Floyd's and, and Andy Griffith. Yeah, that's I know it. she said that's one of the few shows she watched growing up. It seems like oh. anything else you reference Ansley as yeah. far as TV, movies, no idea. But yeah. nope. nailed it there. Wow. <laughs> good, good, good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're getting Welcome ready. back. It's nine after the hour. Whether you want a great haircut or just good conversation, Classics Barbershop in Marquette has has it all. So this morning, Ansley Watson is there to tell us more about it. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. We are just having a great time this morning at Classics Barbershop. I'm here with the owner, Kevin DeWitt. Thank you for being with us this morning. Yeah, good morning. So, Kevin, this is a very traditional looking barbershop. When you think of a barbershop, this is it. Talk to me about this building. Uh, I, it was built in 1947. And uh, from there, it was uh, built by uh, Remillard. And I believe he was there for about 10 years or so. And then uh, Bernie Pelto took over for it for about 40 years. I found it so interesting that only barbers have only used this little shop here. Correct. And so yeah. your, your dad actually was the barber before you, and then you took it over, what, a couple years ago? Uh, that is correct, yeah. So did you learn techniques from him, or what, how did you learn? I went to barber college about uh, three years ago. I've never really thought about that, that there's actually Barber College. How is that? How fast did that take you to go through that? Uh, it took me about a year, mm -hmm. and uh, through a long, vigorous training, <laughs> I, uh, about 2,000 uh, clock hours it took, so. Now, if you look around, there's just so much, just like old, antique barbershop stuff around here. Do you collect this? What, is, what do you do with this stuff? Yeah, well, I'm a, I'm a big fan of antiques, so. I kind of placed two and two together and uh, been uh, collecting for a while. I uh, like the 1950s barbershop mm -hmm. style, so I kind of incorporated with my barbershop. Yeah, it really sets the look in here. So talk to me, somebody walks in, they want a fresh haircut. What are some of the tools that you use? Well, uh, if you want to take a look, yeah. um, right here, here's my shears. <laughs> Those are very There's nice shears. Yeah. Uh, of course, your, uh, your comb that you use. And um, here's a straight razor that we use for neck shaves and straight razor shaves. And of course, our, our clippers that we use, different types of clippers that we use to cut the customer's hair. Do people come in and they're, are they like, just cut my hair, just be creative with it? Or do people have kind of something in mind that they want? Uh, yeah, I'll, I get some people from time to time, they, they, they're not sure what they want, so I kind of give them a little nudge and help them along the way. Is there a certain look that you like doing the best? Uh, probably the side part comb over uh, fade that, mm -hmm. that seems to be popular nowadays. All right, well, yeah. Kevin, thank you. Stay with us because uh, we're going to be showing you exactly what happens in here. Donnie's going to um, help us out with that one. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, <laughs> TV6 News. You have such a gleam in your eye. You're so excited for this, <laughs> Ansley. All right. Thank you very much. Look, she can't stop giggling. It's like Donnie's going under the scissors. You're like a menacing look. Like, oh, here I we go. I wonder how Donnie is feeling about this. Right, you're going to see the camera drop. You hear the door open. He's gone. <laughs> I'm sure it's going yeah, to be it'll just be good. As long as it's Ansley doesn't do it. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. As long as I think that'd be the deal breaker. <laughs> Razor out of Ansley's hand. <laughs> yeah, you see her whipping up the uh, shaving cream. It's I can do this. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as we're getting ready. Welcome to Welcome back. Well, this morning we've gotten a little bit of a taste of what it's like to be a barber. Ansley Watson joins us there this morning to continue that journey. And it sounds like our morning photog Donnie Miller <laughs> is being brave and hopefully the clippers are out of Ansley's hands. Good morning, Sam. That's right. Donnie is in front of the camera this morning. <laughs> Donnie, say hi to everybody. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> and
and he is a wonderful, wonderful photog, but this morning I get to cut his hair. And he said, Ansley, what have I ever done to you to make you, make you so mad at me? <laughs> I'm like, Donnie, I, don't, I love you, Donnie, I'm not. So anyway, Kevin DeWitt, thanks for being with us. You are the barber here at Classics Barbershop. How's it going? You've been prepping Donnie? Oh, it's going great, yeah. What kind of haircut are we giving Donnie this morning? Uh, just a regular men's haircut, like a medium length, so. Yeah, he's going on vacation soon, so he needs a fresh new look for that. So Donnie, I think I'm gonna take the clippers here. What, 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 uh, <laughs> what uh, how long is this right now? Oh, uh, this is a half, just a half an inch. Okay, so, okay, you're gonna have to teach me. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, don't be too scared. <laughs> I'll just calm it down for you, and uh, you go ahead and cut away. Am I am I doing this right? This yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> uh oh, was that too short? No, that, lo that looks good. <laughs> Are you just saying that? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Daniel, it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so then. Wow, this is really awesome. Donnie, I think I should become a, a hairstylist. What do you think? I don't, I don't know. I can't see yet, so. That's true. That's good. Oh, my glasses are Okay, I think I'm going to take. have you take the reins now. Donnie's getting really nervous I'm doing this. Okay. So I am wearing classic barbershop colors here, blue, red, and white. Why, why are, is that the colors for a barbershop? Well, it, uh, it's something that's been in the barber world, world for a long time. Um, the red represents blood from bloodletting, and uh, the white represents the bandages, and the blue is just something that when it came to the United States that the U.S. incorporated with uh, the barber world because it's of red, white, and blue. So, so does this have to do something with the military? Uh, not necessarily, okay. just uh, patriotism Okay. when it's all three colors. So. Okay. So you are the third generation barber in your family. Your grandfather's actually still still cutting hair, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. He owns uh, Queen City Barbershop next to Remy's. I was asking earlier, so I'm like, are you guys competitors then? <laughs> yeah, so, sort of, in a way, I guess you could say. I'm sure you've learned a lot from him, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I've learned a lot from my family and my, my dad, who was also a, a barber as well. How did you learn that you wanted to do this? I mean, you were saying earlier that this isn't for yourself, this is for other people. Oh yeah, well, um, I, I've been around barbering my whole life, ever since I was a little kid, so mm -hmm. it's just something that, um, you know, you're around long enough that you end up uh, growing a, an appreciation to the craft. Right, and you went to school for this? How was that? Oh, I, I really enjoyed barber college. Yeah. And uh, I, I wouldn't say I enjoy it so much I'd want to go back, but, uh, but it was a good experience for me. So not only do you give amazing haircuts here, but look at this, you're also trimming up his beard and you give straight razor blade shaves, is that what it's called? Uh, yes, uh, straight razor shaves on the neck and also on, on the face as well. So is that the typical, like you lather up the cream and everything, put it on, is that what you do? Uh, yeah, the hot lather, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then earlier you were telling me this little strap thing. What is this for? Oh, uh, that's a barber's strop. That's for uh, that's for stropping and uh, sharpening your straight razor. Okay. Wow, look at this. This is really coming along, Donnie. You look great. Right. You look absolutely wonderful. You just can't see yet. No, I can't. no. <laughs> I'm trying to give you moral support here because I know right. you can't see. You're no. looking really good. <laughs> wow. Well, Kevin, is there anything else you'd like to say about your shop here? Oh, uh, no, it's, uh, it's just that I'm, I'm here for, uh, for the community and uh, for the customers, and if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here. And you're open six days a week, is that right? Yes, ma'am, six days a week, even Saturdays, 10 to 1. All right. Yeah. Well, we're going to finish Johnny up here, but until then, reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 Morning News after the break.